Hey, real quick, before the video starts, I just want to say that during this video, there's going to be some missing clips. I don't know how, but I actually lost some of the footage while editing. So, uh, yeah, there's just going to be some missing clips. Uh, very sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's it's just something I'm going to have to deal with for now. Also, I'd like to say that about 60% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So, uh, if you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. It's free, and I won't spam your notifications. Anyways, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, I decided that I wanted to spend 25 days on this like winter island type thing. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just kind of found it. So I was just like, hey, let's spend, let's just spend 25 days here. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea, right? Well, we'll see. Anyway, so, basically, what I'm going to be doing is just chilling out here for 25 days. Uh, at least, you know, that's what I hope I'm going to be doing. And, uh, yeah, let's just kind of get into it. Okay, so, day one, basically, I cut down some trees and went up to a mountain to see the rest of the island. And I just kind of ended up watching the sunset and chilling out. Uh, other than that, I didn't really do much to say. This day was pretty uneventful for day one, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so, day two. Last night, I decided that I wanted to build my base in, like, the middle of the island, you know, somewhere around the area. So, I cleared out some land, I cut more trees, and I made some tools. Uh, definitely gonna need an upgrade, though. This took way too long. Day three. I made some torches, and I went mining. I didn't really find much while strip mining, but, hey, there's always, uh, the next day. Day four. Found a cave, but there don't really seem to be any resources anywhere, like, underground. I just had to go through like a ton of different caves and like cave systems and stuff. I, there's just nothing here. Day 5. Found out that there are not many resources on this island. Like, at all. There are no warriors and normal mobs don't seem to spawn. Like, it's just bunnies. I mean, not really complaining. They're, they're kind of cute. So, I mean, eh, I can tolerate it. Day 6. So, yeah, I realized that if I'm going to be on this island for 25 days, at the very least, I am going to need more resources. But seeing as that's not possible, I just can't stay here for much longer. Like, I really genuinely can't. I can't even stay here. Because there, there are no normal mobs. All there is is bunnies. It's so difficult to hunt down a bunny. And it's just so annoying. Like, there's not, there's no ores. There's no mobs. It's just bunnies and island. Like, it's so weird. Day 7. I started making plans to escape. And I just kind of walk around and not do much. Very uneventful day. Day 9, I cut down some trees just to make sure to have extra wood. I don't know if I'm going to continue doing this series, or I don't know. I don't I don't even know what to do. I'm just going to try to leave the island. Day 10, literally as I'm about to craft the boat and try to escape, it's like hostile mobs just start spawning. Like, it, it, I, like I've, I have not seen a single hostile mob throughout the entirety of the, these 10 days until just now as I try to make a boat. It's stupid. It's crazy. I, I mean, I don't get it. It... it it, it's the, what? I mean, I don't really have any other choice but to stay on the island, so yeah. Day 11. The mobs are gone, but I decided I need some armor, so I tried to hunt down a few more rabbits, but really couldn't find many, and it's just so difficult to do so. It, it's so, uh, hunting rabbits is not very easy. There's not a whole lot of them, and also, they don't stay still at all. So, uh... Yeah, I guess that's just another uneventful day. Alright, so now we're on day 12, and honestly, I just couldn't take it anymore. I tried leaving, but the island just keeps on making more hostile mobs every time I try to leave. It, it's re it, it, it was ridiculous. It was bad. It, it, was, it was genuinely insane. I, I just can't take that anymore. Day 13. I feel like I'm stuck on this stupid island, and honestly, it's so annoying. I'm just incredibly frustrated all the time, and every little thing just seems to piss me off. And I don't feel like these notes are helping very fucking much. So it's day 20. I decided to start writing notes again. I've realized a couple things. First of all, the island is completely stopping me from leaving. It has the power to summon mobs and has an actual volcano on it. And seeing as volcanoes are extremely rare, uh, my guess is, is that this island is fake. Which would also explain the lack of ores and resources. I think I might know how to leave. Day 21. I go to the volcano and I notice that there are some caves. I make my way down and find some iron. Of course. Day 22. I get some wood. That's basically all I do. I just cut down some trees. I get some wood. Day 23. Okay, so I'm going to be real here. The only thing I put down in the notes is uh, it's it's almost time. So, uh, yeah. It's almost time, apparently. Day 24. I make my way to the top of the volcano. I watch the sunset for the last time on this island. That's all I do. I just climb up the volcano. Day 25. So, 
You don't want me to leave? Well, now you're fucked. I'm gonna leave this island. Or at least permanently. I know who you are. And frankly, I know you can't afford to lose me. Because this time, it'll be for real. So, uh, come on in, buddy. What's it gonna be? I make my way down the volcano with my boat. I make my way to the beach. And leave the island. Oh, not just yet, I don't. <laughs> uh. Ah, uh, all right, I'm out of here.